All right, friends, it's Team Men, and I'm back. I just found a new channel that popped up on the radar, and I figured, you know what? I'm going to do a reaction video to this video. To this, this video. Uh, I'm going to do a reaction to it because um, I've never seen this guy before. I know who he is or anything about him, but it looks interesting to do a reaction video about because it almost looks like this dude is a vegan slave, bro. Yeah, man. All right. I love this fresh hair stuff. Let's see if he actually has hair. All right, so the this vegan slave called, uh, what's his, I don't even know what his name is, Simnet Nutrition. Okay, Simnet Nutrition. Um, he says, the best time of year for food, delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, okay. This is going to be great, man. Yep, all righty. Simnet Nutrition, all right. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another full day of eating. I'm Derek from Simnet Nutrition and you know that I love doing these videos to give you different meal ideas that you can eat at he does, does he? He loves giving you these videos so you could do wonderful, wonderful creations at home, fake creations and create fake food, which will destroy you <laughs> as a natural carnivore, a human, a natural carnivore, which you eat meat. But he's going to help you destroy yourself faster than the last time, like him losing his hair. You notice his voice is estrogenic. It's estrogenic because he lost his hair because of high estrogen. You don't lose your hair because you have high testosterone. He doesn't have high testosterone. He has high estrogen. Yourself. And I also love being an example that you don't have... See, his voice is very estrogenic. His voice is estrogenic. Therefore, his hair has, his, has fell off. It fell off, bro. This is estrogen. <laughs> to eat meat in order to be strong, build muscle. You don't have to eat meat to build, get strong, build muscle, all that. You know, it's all really handy dandy and fun and cool when you're young. You know, eating the slave diet and all that kind of stuff. The prisoner and slave diet. But uh, eventually it'll catch up with everybody down the line. I'm pretty sure he grew up eating meat, okay? And now he's like, hey, I discovered eating more fake food and I forget about meat. Okay, yeah, whatever. I don't know what else he's doing. I don't know what he's doing uh, artificially. Maybe he's injecting something artificially. You'd have to ask him. I really doubt this stuff is building any muscle because it doesn't. It's deficient, so how can it build muscle? Everybody knows that veganism is associated with negative nitrogen balance. So what the fuck he trying to convince me that a person with negative nitrogen balance, which is associated with catabolism, is fucking building muscles. And you can't build muscles because I told you, muscles have an MND size limit. So what is it exactly is he building? Well, what's the second, what would be the secondary phase in, in a trained person when they're trained lifting weights? Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, artificial muscle growth, right. You know that he may not understand that or know that it doesn't really matter. I already know what he's getting. So he's not fooling me with these phony muscles. Be healthy and eat absolutely. Yeah, look at me, man. I built some sarcoplasmic muscles. I ate a bunch of carbohydrates and shit. I ate drugs called sugar, man. I ate everything is sugar on my plate and toxins. And look what I built with it. Fuck me, man. You think, you think plants build muscles? And again, you need these nuclei to support further muscle growth. And they reached the ceiling limit the first time he came in the gym. So I don't know who he's fooling bomb meals every single day and i don't know look at these bomb meals they're toxic this is ridiculous How about you guys but this is my absolute favorite time of year for food like the end of summer just coming into fall because everything is ripening there's a bunch of stuff in my garden to eat there's farmers markets that i got some food at. yeah if it's seasonal seasonal you can poison yourself you know maybe in the summer you know after you know the harvest comes in poison yourself a bit then the rest of the year you should be on your natural uh, your natural food as a carnivore meat uh, recently and all the food is just so good like is this guy really that stupid he doesn't understand these foods the bitter taste in these foods is the toxins you're tasting i mean look at this radishes do you know how bitter radishes taste man shit they're they literally they literally burn your nose out and your your tongue your mouth Come on, man. It's so toxic. And so are like onions. Hell, they make you cry across the hall. That's how toxic they are. They're in the air. And fresh. But hey, before we go on, you guys might have noticed something. Yes, they're all engineered by man and fresh. Yes, fake, fakely engineered on these fake farms created by man, which cannot be found in nature. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm bald now. <laughs> so I decided to shave my head a couple weeks ago. And you know what? It actually feels amazing. Did veganism... Okay, why did he shave it? Because he was losing it? I have no clue. He has a very high receding hairline. And that's the cause of 
what he's doing, what he's eating, fake diet. He's he's really he's really domesticating himself quite well here, isn't he? And then he's like, well, I'm so domesticated, but I'll try to pretend like I'm not so domesticated by lifting weights and pumping glycogen in my muscles so they, so they can protrude fakely. Oh, okay. Make me lose my hair? No, definitely not. And I still had a good bit of hair, as you guys probably remember from my videos, but I've never been overly happy with like my hairline, and I just decided to shave it off. Crystal Gate. Okay, so he was losing his hair. He didn't like his hairline. That's definitely estrogen. He's losing it and these plants. Me the confidence in order to do it and I actually feel pretty and good plants, about it. So the plants are causing the estrogen to go up. Okay. Anyways, this is my new look. I hope you guys like it. People have been telling me it suits me, so hopefully they're not lying. So I just got back from a workout and I always like to start my pre-workout ritual. Was he trying to convince himself it suits him because somebody said something? Bro, man, women like men with hair. I don't know what he's talking about. This is cope again. You know, people always do this. Oh, well, people told me I look fine. I shaved my hair off. No, it, it's unnatural. It's unnatural to not have hair on your head. Get it? It's unnatural. It's unnatural to eat unnatural food. Right away, as soon as I get up. Especially as a human, which you are a carnivore. Up and that involves hydration. So what I've been having lately is stinging nettle tea and some lemon. And the stinging nettle tea is actually really good for... Wow, tea is extremely toxic. It's sprayed with just about every kind of... Toxic spray out there, glyphosates, uh, I don't know, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. Man, the tea itself is toxic. High in oxalate, okay. Uh, so he's got some lemon here. Like I said, I'm not against him doing these things. I'm simply reacting. Allergies, and I've been suffering a little bit lately with allergies. Like my eyes get... Okay, you, you, don't, you don't get allergies. You don't suffer. Hey, human bodies don't suffer from anything. Your body maintains everything. It's maintains it it's it would never give you any of these things the cause is your diet is causing that and so you're imagining that it's it's something in the air or something allergies you're making up these words you're feeling you're having a reaction to something it's actually the food you're eating is causing that puffy and i just have like uh, my sinuses get all like messed up and yeah and how's that happening because you're eating these toxic foods it's the mold that is out there and as soon as the weather yes yes blame it on the mold it's the mold that's out there what mold there's no mold out there oh it's the weather as soon as the weather changes yeah 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 but no it has nothing to do with the toxic food you're eating right it's the air out there it's the mold that's causing it yeah sure like your hair falling out yes okay receding yes it's rainy here there's just like these different molds in the air and, and your teeth are falling out and everything your gums you're going and getting them drilled at the dentist because it's the air out there the mold out there is causing it not the toxic food and the sugar and the food and whatever else and it just like messes me up i don't know if anyone else up the oxalates lectins polyphenols and uh, i don't know the arsenic the cyanide all the toxic things in those foods with it i don't get it during like ragweed season or like the spring or anything like there's no such thing it's all made up he's making this this is all made up by people bro this whole ragweed shit and all that they, it's pretend they know it's the food that's causing it and then they're gonna say it's ragweed and stuff and really the truth is there's nothing going on out there <laughs> you understand me and then they sell you these pills because they want to make money off you on your imaginary imaginary uh, uh belief that some ragweed is causing these uh, aller so-called fake allergies like that when there's all the pollen in the air but at this time of the year it seems to bug me so yeah it's the pollen in the air no 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 it's all that fresh stuff that you're eating your produce you didn't notice that happens at the same time it happens exactly at the same time when you're eating it yes sir Anyways, that seems to help. And then I move on to the beetroot juice, and I use beetroot crystals. Whoa, beetroot is terrible. I remember these old people, European old people, they were eating a lot of beet juice. It is extremely high in oxalates. I, they thought it was they thought it was it had something to do with longevity so they would grow a lot of beets and then they would they would actually uh they would juice them and they would juice them like crazy and drink them and they couldn't figure out why they were falling apart people are so so you know I, even i figured out why i was falling apart because the slave diet and my instincts never 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 uh failed me they i i started to sway towards eating meat I just started eating meat like crazy and I got better right away. I never deny my instincts. If I, you know, if I, you know, I never deny my instincts. I, I listen to my instincts. That's how I learned about bodybuilding, what grows muscles. I figured it all out, everything. That's why I'm able to find all the answers on my channel and share it with you guys. 
I bring out all the stuff from NCBI and everything, I, and I show you guys. And everything else, and even these diets and what I'm eating and what I'm doing, constantly learning all the time. Remember, you're learning all your life, and you're going to die stupid anyways. But you're learning all the time. That's the most important thing. For this, this is great for athletic performance, helping the pump. In the How can it be great for athletic performance? Okay, but even though, let's just say, he, he's a performance guy. Athletic performance. What athletic performance? He's not a gymnast. He's not doing gymnastics or karate. He's not doing anything exorbitantly, you know, neat. He's not a skateboarder or, you know, a bike, bike, bicyclist or anything like that. He's not, a, he's not a diver or swimmer. What does he do? Go to a gym to lift weights. How exciting is that? You think people want to, like, that's why I find it's ridiculous. People actually want to watch somebody lifting weights in the gym. What? I don't find that spectacular at all. The gym and just helping you push harder. And then at the gym. But push harder for what reason? To do what? To, to accelerate aging so you can get older and possibly, I don't know, get from the stress, get some weird cockamamie thing, some DNA damage and who knows what, oxidative stress and a bunch of other stuff. What is he talking about? Wear out your joints and everything? Come on. I have some pre-workout and then I get right into it. He's drinking some pre-chemical, fake chemical, can't be found in nature, so he can, of course, you know, destroy himself, even further accelerated aging, more infl infl inflammation in his cells. That's, this is great. Yes, inflame my cells and everything. Okay, so I can fucking really fuck myself up. Today was a push day, so I was doing, like, chest and shoulder exercise. He's doing a push day. For, what is that going to do, a push day? Listen, bro, a unique thing, a unique... Um, thing about uh, untrained muscles is they get stiff and sore due to muscle damage. Yeah, that's what they do. You want to know what causes muscle damage? Untrained muscles, unaccustomed exercises don't cause widespread muscle damage and unfamiliar forms. Does it say training, does it say that training trained muscles get this damage? No. So what exactly are you doing there? I know, you're performing, get it? You're a performer. And that's my absolute favorite workout day. So I had an awesome workout. And now that I'm back. And even if muscles are, are damaged, they have to go through a repair and a remodeling. There are clinical signs telling you what this damage is. It's, it's listed everywhere in NCBI online. You know I have it on my channel. Back home, it's time for that post-workout meal. So let me show you what I'm going to make. I'm actually going to make two different things. So I'm going to put a bunch of random stuff in this smoothie, but it all okay. has a purpose. You'll see as I go. So I'm going to start with... Again, these smoothies really destroy you. Here's the thing. He's, now it's really processed, okay? So let's just say these fruits were in their natural state, but now he blends them and then he drinks them. The amount of fructose that will hit your liver is astronomical. And we all know that NCBI has resport, reports in PubMed. It tells you there's a new one that fructose causes brain damage. And we know that fructose is associated with apoptosis of muscle cells. There's an apoptosis, DNA damage, and mitochondrial damage. That is very bad. So how could he be building muscles if there's an apoptosis? See what I mean? About one and a half frozen bananas. This is just to create a base for the smoothie. Then I'm also going to add some frozen... Oh, Ollie. Oh, my God. No, you got to go elsewhere. Are you ready? Some frozen... Oh, Ollie. Oh, my God. No, you got to go elsewhere. Next, I'm going to add some ginger. So we actually... Here's the thing what I found out about ginger. Again, it's highly toxic. These, these plants, they're highly toxic. Those, those tastes that you're getting from them, that's a toxic taste. Your body knows that. But you're thinking, wow, this, is, this toxic taste is good for me, like onions and, you know, relishes and hot peppers and uh, ginger and uh, I don't know what else there is. There's like, uh, <laughs> man, uh, horseradish, man, it's like coming right out your nose, bro. <laughs> man, they're highly, extremely toxic. It's kind of obvious. Freeze our ginger, so I'm going to have to try and cut this. So the ginger is like a natural antihistamine. Just like I mean, they, they were trying to, accept, I think PubMed, they left us the lied in those reports. They try to say it was associated with getting bigger testicles and a bunch of things. And, and I tried them out. I tried out everything and none of them, they didn't work. The only thing that really worked was eating raw meat and raw, raw sushi and the raw eggs and a bunch of raw animal products, yeah. Even raw liver. Like stinging nettle is. He's better off taking raw liver and blending it. He can blend it with milk or something if he doesn't like to, you know, drink it just like, <laughs> you know, water and raw liver. 
Yeah, you can blend it with, put something in it, I don't know, make some animal, other animal products with the liver. Yeah, you can take like chopped, I don't know, I don't like chicken, but you could put some chicken in there and raw liver and put some steak pieces and uh, get some water, right? You know, maybe if you like Worcestershire sauce, maybe you could put that in there, I don't know. And blend it and drink it and you're better off, man. And uh, it's also obviously good for digestion and so many different things. So a chunk of that. A bit of turmeric. Here's the thing. The more you eat raw food, the more you become undomesticated. That's what I've noticed now. I'm becoming undomesticated. Wow, it's crazy. And a pinch of black pepper. So if you've been watching the channel long enough, you know why those two go together. But uh, it's great for inflammation and also good for allergies, specifically allergic rhinitis, which is definitely what I get. So the spirit. He's making that up. He's getting it. He's. What do you think he's getting it from? Look at this stuff he's putting in there. These toxic foods. And then he's like, Oh, I'm getting all these things, you know. And he blames it on the environment. I just love these people, man. There are like millions of cars shooting gas in the air, right? Billions of cars out there driving on highways. They Day in and day out but no these little cows on farms are blowing farts and that's causing climate change give me a break man spirulina i actually really love the taste of spirulina in my smoothies but again it's uh, is spirulina toxic <laughs> these foods are toxic bananas are actually quite toxic to themselves you should read up on it google tell great you. for helping with allergies i'm gonna hit this from every area you know that i can because man it just like totally messes me up i hate feeling this way but i feel pretty good right now i have to admit a scoop of veg protein. Wonderful concoction. At least proteins from waste products, they're actually, they can harm you. It's full of dextrose and a bunch of weird sugars, man, nasty stuff. Powder, this is the frosted cinnamon roll flavor. This is like their newest flavor. It's actually real. Oh, cinnamon roll. Cinnamon made from tree bark. Yeah, I love to eat tree bark all the time, man. It's, it's you know, it's one of my pastimes, bro. Yeah, I love eating tree bark, sure. Really good. I'm going to do about a scoop. Man. Very healthy for you. And a third. A scoop of creatine. And I'm actually just going to pop outside and grab some greens from the garden. So I've got some nasturtium leaves, parsley. Look, he's eating flowers. He's going to cut some flowers from the garden. <laughs> this is a hunter running through the forest cutting flowers. He's going to eat them. Yes, the leaves and everything, sure. And basil. And then just some water. So for me, this is... Well, he's going to eat some toxic plants with that. Mm, delicious. Yeah, okay. What smoothies are so great for is that, like, you can just throw a whole bunch of healthy stuff. Yeah. I, why does he keep calling it healthy? Yeah, it, it's it's great for destroying your mitochondria, apoptosis, DNA damage, and brain damage. In there, blend it up, get it down the hatch, and there's no way that I would be eating like all these foods separately. Like you wouldn't make a salad out of this stuff. So that's why I love smoothies. All right, let's try out this wild concoction. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually surprisingly good. Protein powder goes a long way when you're mixing up stuff like this. Uh, it is a little bit spicy. I think that's from the nasturtium leaves. They are kind of like pepper. Protein powder goes a long way. He already quit. He, he squinted, man, because it tasted so bad. That's why it's so toxic. Brie. But, man, it's actually really good. So now on to the second. It's really good? Man, <laughs> I just love these people. Let's eat for taste because it tastes so good. Let's make the more tasty they make it. That's the whole point. They, the marketing of these these products to make them tasty, tasty. Then you get used to tasty and then you don't get used to healthy anymore. <laughs> you used to tasty, not healthy. Course of breakfast and I just pulled this out of the... Wow, slave food, bread, man. Most, one of the most toxic, the fucking made out of grains. That's what... The downfall of man, civilization, the bread. The moment they invented bread, that's the downfall of us. Freezer, it was a huge loaf of this Moroccan. Yes, you know who eats that? Criminals. They feed bread and water to criminals and slaves. That's what they feed it to. The kings and the queens and the, uh, you know, the Iron Guard and the warriors and all that, they didn't eat bread, man. The slaves and prisoners ate bread, dude. Spiced bread, and we got it from the farmer's market the other day. It's actually really good. So I'm going to toast it. Yes, it's really good slave food. Then he toasted it. Look at it. It's carcinogenic now on the top there. He actually toasted that. It's black. It's carcinogenic. Who knows what it could do to you when it goes in your stomach. This is really sludge. He's just eating sludge. It's so gross. Yes. And I'm just going to add some peanut butter. Jesus, man. He's going to put seeds now on it too. So let's get this straight. Crush seeds that which have cyanide in them. They've, they've grounded them down to a powder. And now he's put seeds, more seeds on here called peanuts. He's going to spread it and eat it. Wow, a real slave diet, bro. 
some banana. A real prisoner's diet. And these strawberries that I picked from the garden when I was out there. Yeah, think about that in the wild, these great strawberries growing out in the wild. They have all these seeds. Do you notice the seeds on the strawberries there? There's so many seeds on there, right? That's just crazy. It's so that animals, when they when they eat it, they don't they don't uh, digest the seeds. The seeds they don't get digested. They shit them out, and then they they grow in different areas. That's how they're able to spread themselves. But humans are not doing that. They don't do that. Yeah, man, it's just crazy. Wow, what a nice toxic sandwich there you made. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> This is so gross, man. When I think about it now, when I look back at it, I just say to myself, this is really gross. Then again, I never really liked bread that much myself in the past. Man, that is so good. Bananas on toast and, and strawberries. It's gross, man. At least people used to eat bread with butter. You know what I mean? At least that kept them healthy. And I'm not talking about fake butter called margarine. I'm talking about real butter, okay? That Moroccan spice bread is just so nice. Like, it's subtle, it's not too strong, but just like really like warming flavors. It goes so well with the peanut butter and the banana and the strawberries as well. Gosh, oh, yeah. it's good. Wash it down with a little swamp juice. Mm. Wow, that's a good combo. Yes, he washed it down with some, some toxic swamp juice. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy this and then probably head outside and grab. Yes, he's going to enjoy the inflammation, the bloating, the, uh, I don't know, fermentation in his belly, it turning into like alcohol and causing a fatty liver and kidney over time. Yes, yes. And destroying his, destroying his cells, DNA. Have some stuff from the garden for the rest of the meal. This should be like a video on how to destroy your DNA and your lineage along the way as well. <laughs> All right, so really quick garden. Jesus, the cat looks the cat looks like it's out too. You feeding that vegan diet too, very Tour. You guys might remember this garden from the start of the summer, and we just planted like a whole bunch of flowers in here. Obviously. Look at me. I'm a slave. I'm a farmer. I'm I'm growing plants because I'm starving all the time. <laughs> I'm eating sh lots of sugar. The bread, sugar, converting to sugar. The banana, the strawberries. The smoothie was full of sugar. Lots and lots of fructose and sugar to cause brain damage and apoptosis in my muscles. But hey, I have muscles, right? Oh, I think it's because of the carbs. Yeah, man, can carbs build muscles? What kind of muscles they build, <laughs> build, bro? This is fucking funny, man. And they got pretty wild, but uh, it's cool because everything in here is edible. So these are like wild chrysanthemums, chrysanthemum. Everything in here is edible. You know, rocks are edible too. Why don't you eat them, man? You can eat sand and rocks. We used to make mud sandwiches when we were kids. What's wrong with you, dude? Come on, you can eat rocks. Everything here is edible, yeah, until it kills you, right? Or Chrysanthemum. Well, it doesn't kill you right away, though. Mom, S whatever. Slow death. Uh, you can eat the flowers and the greens as well. and that You can eat the flowers. <laughs> well, you fuck, man. You're going to eat flowers. It's going to make you into Tinkerbell. And, yeah, a whole bunch of herbs. The nasturtiums are really good. But it worked out, and there have been, like, so many bees and insects <laughs> that love this, and it's been really beautiful and really easy to maintain. So I think we'll definitely do this again next year. So, okay, we got a lot to do in this garden. There are cucumbers. Uh, but Damn, these things are really toxic. And so are those seeds, man. I think I'm actually going to use for lunch today. And then I've also got these. Skin is super toxic. These are like my favorite thing to grow. These are lemon cucumbers. Yes, more oxalates. All right. And they taste just like cucumbers. They don't really taste much like lemon, but man, they're so good. You know. Kind of what's a bunch of lectins in there, polyphenols, more toxicity. That's so called I know. They have antioxidants in there, yeah, but they're for the plants. They're not for humans, dude. You need to really understand that. And when it goes in you, it has a very adverse effect. What I'm gonna do with these. Yeah, they're really good, but not lemony, just cucumbery. And I also grew You know what the funny part is? You know that vegan compilation? He's going to be like one of these people. Uh, you know, um, I didn't think I would be making this video. I'm no longer vegan. <laughs> Why? Because uh, look, well, so far my hair fell out. My peepee's not working. My fingernails are falling out. I'm loss of energy and I'm dying. <laughs>
are carrots in here. So I have no idea like when they're ripe, but I have a feeling like yes, I have carrots in here. Where where do these grow in nature, bro? Can you show me other than your garden, which is fake? This carrot is way like overripe. Look how thick that stalk is. These are supposed to be carrot greens. But okay, let's pull this one out first and just see what's going on. <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. Are you ready for it? It's engineering. With BDC's online financing for entrepreneurs, get up to a. Are you ready for it? Is it engineered? <laughs> Nothing. Oh my gosh. What I'm thinking is it was bigger and then it used the energy for this. Okay, I'm hoping there's gonna be better ones. <laughs> this one looks like a bee. <laughs> well, I was so hopeful because, yo, know, I could just see the top. Like, that's all I could see. And I'm like, man, these are gonna be such good carrots. Oh my gosh, look at this, Ollie. That's supposed to be a freaking carrot. All right, let's keep going. Do you think we'll get one good one? No. <laughs> this is absolutely sad. <laughs> okay, hey, those are Perfect. decent. All Yellow. Right, let's move this. We've got some tomatoes. This Asian-inspired cucumber salad to have with my lunch, but I just want to see how tough the skin is and pretty tough. That happens with homegrown cucumbers, especially when you let them go too long like this. So I'm going to start by peeling the cucumber. I'm also going to cut up some of this lemon cucumber to have with it as well. The skin on this isn't so tough, so I'm going to use the skin. and It'll add some nice mm. color to it, too. And then I just got rid of the seeds in this one just by kind of scraping it out like this. At least he got rid of the seeds. That's what people used to do in the past. And then putting it into the compost. And now I'm just going to make a quick little marinade for it. So Maybe somebody told him the seeds were toxic or he's just doing something like he learned, he saw online. Just Who some knows? tamari or soy sauce, some rice vinegar, a touch of maple syrup, a tiny bit of toasted sesame oil for the flavor. And then I also like adding a little bit of dill to this as well. And then with clean hands, I like to just kind of like squish it all in there. It kind of breaks down some of the cucumber, just kind of allows the sauce to kind of really get in there. And then just a little bit of chopped or cut up, in this case, green onion. Give that a little mix. And I'm just gonna set that aside. And now I'm gonna make some vegetable dumplings. So to make these, I just like to throw the frozen dumplings into some boiling water, cook those for a few minutes, and then I just strain them and add them to a lightly oiled preheated pan. And in the same pan, I'm just gonna fire in some frozen edamame. And then I'm just gonna plate up the dumplings on a little bit of lettuce, top it with that edamame. Wow, wonderful slave diet, look at that. Toxic dumplings and salad, yes. And then I really want to try one of these Roma tomatoes that I grew, so I'm going to chop them. Listen, man, if I offered you a T-bone steak, you know what I mean? Let's see, some, I don't know, rack of lamb and a T-bone steak and, you know, a bunch of stuff like some beautiful animal products. Maybe some scallops, too, and uh, bacon wrapped around the scallops and I don't know, whatever. <laughs> would you eat that or would you eat the meal that I want to give you? <laughs> man, see what I mean? I wouldn't eat this stuff. One of those, a little green onion, a touch of dill on that salad. There we go, this. look at that meal. All right, I'm gonna try one of the dumplings first. The meal. These are gonna be so dumplings. good. Mm, those are amazing. I don't know if you've ever had that brand of dumpling. Wow, this guy really is, he, he just really just is so devoted to being a slave. It's incredible eating this slave food. It's before, but if you ever see them in stores, definitely worth the try. Edamame. You know, I think these prisoners, they were allowed to grow their own gardens to feed themselves this slave food, with to this toxic slave food, yes. Always good, especially when it gets a little blackened like that from the frying pan. <sighs> All right. I mean, think about it. That's how it really started, you know, in Europe. They started with gardens for the slaves. The slaves were hungry, you know, the dukes, the kings and all that, they were eating the meat. And when the slaves were re rebelling, they made sure they had bread, so they fed them bread, sludge. Let's get into this cucumber salad. This has been one of my favorite things to make lately. So good, especially with like fresh garden cucumbers. And the sauce isn't too strong at all. Like because you kind of scoop it out of the sauce, it just, just creates just a little bit of flavor. And the dill all goes so nicely with the cucumbers. Now let's try these Roma oh, yeah, tomatoes sure. that I grew. Packed full of flavor. Wow, store-bought tomatoes just never compare to garden fresh ones. All right, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. I've got a bit of work to do, and then I think I'm probably gonna get outside because this day is so nice, and it's been raining for like the last like week, it feels like. So I'm gonna get out there and enjoy this. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I will bring you guys. So what, do you do? what does he do? He goes and runs. 
because it's, it's typical. He's eating drugs all day. These foods, they, they're drugs. You're eating drugs and then you want to go and run. So I'm just out for a quick jog before... A quick jog for what reason? What is that going to do for you, jogging? It's, it's oh, I know, cardio. It's going to destroy your heart. That's what it's going to do. It's going to cause it to beat, to beat faster. So your metabolic rate's going to go higher. That's associated with accelerated aging, bro. Get it. Oh, man. This is destroying your body. Oxidative, more oxidative stress. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> While that food is fermenting, the poison is coursing through his veins. And these poor cells are going, oh, my God, you're killing us. Where's the nutrients? We don't want to be toxified, dude, and then running. And now we have to absorb the toxins and DNA damage. Accelerated aging. Oh. <laughs> Every time I come out. Poor slave. I'm like, I'm so glad I did this. It feels so good. But sometimes it's hard to get myself out the door. But what I always say to myself is lacing up is the hardest part. Once you get the shoes on and you're out the door, everything's easy after that. You've already made the tough decision. Yeah, you made the tough decision to destroy yourself. Yes, sir. So it's blackberry season right now, and they are delicious. We just had a bunch of rain. So. It's blackberry season, guys. It's really delicious. More fructose. Yes, more sugar. They should be nice and juicy. And I've got a little root that I go on where there's tons of blackberries. Yeah, you know, I want to just, I want to stop and eat them so I can destroy my brain and my muscle and DNA and, you know, oxid oxidation. I want more oxidation, oxidative stress and everything. So I accelerate aging and look older than I am, yes. So now he looks even older with his hair, with his head shaved, yes. Let's look even older. And then another snack that I'm gonna be looking for after this. That's attractive. That's attractive to women, right? Accelerated aging, looking, getting an old face, looking even older, shaving your hair off, looking even like a, you know, really old man. Yes, that's great, okay. Bug. He had to stop and eat the blackberries. Give me a break. Check. Blow on them just to make sure. I love this one. I'm blowing them to make sure. How do you know I, an animal didn't come by and piss on that? <laughs> mm. Wow, they're actually so sweet. Yeah, they're so sweet. They're so sweet. You're, you shouldn't be eating them. They're drugs. Don't eat the, don't eat the drugs, dude. Oh my God, look at these. Wow. Look how many there are here. Look at these. They're great tasting drugs, guy. Great. I'm so addicted. Easy. Many there are here. Crazy. Yeah, wow. So check out this part of the trail. It's my Let me run some more and destroy myself. Favorite part to run through. It's like so tight, so green, and the trail's yeah. so nice and smooth. What is he eating here? He's not eating something. So I'm definitely keeping my eye on this tree because look at this. It's a fig tree, but they're not even close to me. It's a fig tree. He's going to eat it. Being ripe yet, so hopefully that happens soon. We only got a couple weeks of warm weather. Don't eat that, man. What else is he eating? Grapes. All right, friends, it's T, and I'm back oh, again with another. Sorry about that. He's eating grapes, man. They're super, super high in fructose and sweet as hell. You see the addiction that these people, you see what these people are addicted to? They're addicted to because it goes down easy. It goes down a lot easier than the toxic vegetables. The fruits go down way easier. That's why they mix the toxic vegetables with the fruits and the, and the smoothies and stuff. Because it goes down a lot easier because it's based on addiction. It's based on addiction. He's addicted to this stuff. Mm. So those are kind of like hanging over someone's fence. But drugs. They're basically drugs. They make slaves work harder than the last time. They're in like public land. So I figured it's okay. I just take a couple. The perfect amount of sweetness. The seeds are like almost non-existent. A little bit sour. But all right. That's enough energy to get me home. <laughs> all right. Back. That's enough energy to get home. Yeah. Okay. In the kitchen. It's dinner time. And I already started by cooking up some of these Dr. Prager burgers. So I'm not having burgers. Burgers? What are they? Fake burgers? Tonight. But I like to use these as sort of like a base. 
Look, see the they see here's the thing. He's craving, that's different. He's craving, his body's craving nutrients. It, your body's craving meat, okay? Animal products. So what does he do? He doesn't he doesn't listen to his instincts. He feeds it fake burgers because it's a, there's a picture on a box. And I'm trying to fool my mind, a fake burger. I'll pretend I'm eating meat. Yes, a burger. Why do vegans have to do that? Because they crave meat because your human instinct tells you it drives you towards what it needs, these, these nutrients. But you were like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to slave you, body. A flavor adder to a bit of a stir fry. So I'm also going to chop up some... I bet you he's frying this in seed oils. Look how black it's getting, too. It's carcinogenic. ...veggies to have in there. So I've just got some red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, onion. Which... Wow, peppers, too. He's going to put them in there. Great. They're all going in there. Along with some frozen green peas. Oh my god, green peas, bro. Nice toxic soup there. So I'm just gonna let that cook for a minute and get this soy free tofu ready. I'm sure you guys have seen this on. God, that is so gross. Even prisoners would be like, please shoot me. <laughs> Stop feeding me this slave nasty food, bro. Give me a steak. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he doesn't want that because he slaved himself to being a slave for the rest of his life. And he's not even in jail, bro. He's not even a slave or a prisoner. How could you slave yourself to this slave food, bro? You are a free man, man. You can eat meat. You can eat animal products. They're there in the market. Keep yourself healthy and strong, bro. But no, he wants to continue in the behavior being a slave because... All his forefathers behind him were all slaves. The channel before, there's 64 grams of protein in this entire block. They say his ancestors were all slaves. Which is not all that big. That is a lot of protein for such a small amount of food. That's not protein. It's not animal. What protein? There's no protein. It's deficient. Any plant food is deficient in, in uh, amino acids. So there's no protein in there. There's fiber, but there's no protein. Fiber is not protein. He's making this stuff up. Only meat is, is protein. He's lying to you. And then just toss it in some of this tofu. Uh, everything he's doing is a lie here. Really, that's what it is. Seasoning that we brought back from Germany. Tofu seasoning? What's that? More toxic seasoning? Great. How toxic is this seasoning? I don't know. What is it? Paprika? And then I'm just going to throw that into a... Ask yourself, if these foods are so good, why does he have to constantly season stuff and mix stuff in and all that to mask the taste? Because he's tasting the toxic food, the toxins coming out of it. So he has to mask it. That's what they do, man. And saute it. And then back over to that veggie and... Pre he sauteed it. Look at this. What is this? Rice, man? I don't know what that is. Man, that's arsenic. Baker burger stir fry. I'm actually going to add some leftover rice to it as well. So he's stir frying the fake burger, which is just vegetables. Might as well just throw vegetables in there. Oh. So I actually saved some of those <coughs> carrot greens. Some of them were pretty tough, but I saved like kind of the young. Wow, more toxic leaves. Uh, who, what hunter would stop in the forest and eat leaves off a tree? Not me or any bush. No thanks. And most tender ones. And I know you guys are going to give me crap if I don't use any of them. Them. So I'm going to yeah. chop this up and throw some of it into that stir fry. So when Wow, I that's just great, man. Toxify yourself even more. Making a meal like this, I'm usually thinking like a carb source or like a source of calories, which is going to be that. Of course, when you say carbs, what do you mean by that? The drug addic drug induced addiction, addiction, the diet, drug induced diet, bro, carbs, which is sugar. What is a carb? Sugar. That's all it really is. He's just eating sugar all day, drugs all day. He doesn't want to admit, I'm on drugs, I'm eating drugs all day, and I feel happy and giddyish. And I'm accelerated aging and a bunch of stuff doing this. Stir fry, protein source, which is obviously that soy free. Yeah, so let's see, he got, he got the carbs, the sugar, right, the drugs. And then he's like, I got the protein from tofu. No, you didn't. You got fiber, it's some kind of concoction. It's garbage, it's fake. Fava bean tofu, and also a green. So that's what we need next. I don't even know what the fuck tofu is, to tell you the truth. I, know, I don't remember even what it's made of. Let's look it up. According to Britannica, tofu is made from dried soybeans that are soaked in water, crushed, and boiled. 
Okay, I know why they have to be soaked in water because they're highly toxic. So you have to soak them first. They have to be soaked. So these were soaked in water, then they were crushed, and then they were boiled. So, yeah, it's, it's just a dead plant. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. Um... According to American Heart Association, similarly, the American Cancer Society sees no dangers from eating soy. For the vast majority of people, it should be reasonable to incorporate tofu in their daily diet without any issues, Sun said. Yeah. Why would they? Why would they? The Cancer Society, there's no danger. Sure, to, if they want you to die out there, the government, why would they tell you? Why would, why would they tell you there was something bad with it? Of course not. <laughs> um... According to WebMD, products made from soybeans are excellent sources of protein and other nutrients, no, especially for people on a plant-based diet, but they are also high in oxalates. A three-ounce serving of firm tofu has 235 milligrams, while one cup of soy milk or yogurt can have up to 336 milligrams per serving. Well, there you go. It's very high in oxalates, which is toxic, okay? I don't know what other toxins are in there. I'm not going to look it up, but whatever. Does it really matter? I'm not eating it. And you shouldn't either. It's gross. Protein source, which is obviously that soy-free fava bean tofu. That's not protein. And also a green. So that's a That's weenie. fiber. That's not protein. Next. And usually for the greens, I'll have some cooked greens or a salad, which is what I'm going to make today. So I got this big bag of mixed greens at the farmer's market the other day. But they also had this lettuce here, which is called... It's an incomplete amino acid... There's incomplete amino acids in there. Which is called crystal lettuce. And it's a hybrid between iceberg lettuce and romaine. And like, let's, listen let's to how crunchy out. it is. Yeah, how crunchy the toxins are. They're, they're going to come out in your tongue there, dude. Um... According to American Heart Association, Tofu also contains all the essential amino acids your body needs and is rich in minerals and vitamins, including calcium, manganese, iron and vitamin A tofu and other soy foods also are primary source of isoflavins. Yeah, but they're not bioavailable to humans. That's the problem. I don't know what they're talking about. I, I don't believe this. But this is by heart or org. So what do you expect, right? Um... According to American Heart Association, tofu also contains all the essential amino acids your body needs well, and is nine, rich in minerals though. and vitamins, including calcium, manganese, iron, and vitamin A. But does it contain all nine? One, two, Here's three, a summary four, five, from six, Nutrient seven, Optimizer. Eight. Amino acids in tofu, cysteine... It says there's eight there. There's only eight. Usually it's nine to be complete. I don't believe any of this stuff, man, but whatever. It can say whatever it wants. Crunchy it is. It's crazy good. It would actually be like the perfect sandwich lettuce. Oh. Hi, guys. Look at me. I'm a slave. Look how crunchy this is. I know where's diet. I'm gonna save a couple pieces of that. And I think there's actually some in here as well. So I'm actually making crystal dinner as well, as I usually do, so that's why I'm making two bowls. They're not both for me. So for the salad, I've just got some cucumber from the garden that I'm gonna chop up, a few radishes. And then this isn't something I often do, but I grabbed some flowers from the garden and I'm actually gonna pull the petals off them. And This is gross, he's gonna eat the petals from the flowers, bro, they're so toxic. Kinda sprinkle the petals on top, because I think that'll oh look nice. Oh my god, whatever. So cashew water for like at least an hour. Cashews, they're really, they're really toxic, you know that? He's eating cashews, how toxic are these cashews? Extremely toxic. Watermelon sweet tea, oh, this is another one here. Gross stuff, man.
I wonder why he's so According cool. to Slow Food, cashews themselves aren't toxic, but they are surrounded by a shell that consists of the toxic oil urushiol. Coming into contact with urushiol can cause itching, blisters, and skin rashes. Yeah. I don't know. According to Slow Food, cashews themselves aren't toxic, but they are surrounded by a shell that consists yes, of the toxic... Yes, yes, we know, but what is in them exactly? I know that there's something in them. I can't remember now. There's something that's toxic inside them. I just don't remember right now. They're actually quite... I know about the skin around it right there because they, they actually they fry them up. People eat them raw sometimes. They, they, it is toxic. The outside part of, the, part of it is toxic. The outside part, the skin area right there, the skin on it, so I know that. It's got this toxic oil crap, something on it. But the inside, I don't know, man. Anyways, I don't know how to look it up. I, I can't remember right now. But it's toxic anyways, like it said there. It's toxic. The soaking, I don't know if that's going to reduce it. Because it's so good. I've been making it a bunch lately. Um, so you got to soak cashews in warm water for like at least an hour. Drain this off now, though. Yeah, then why? into the blender. I'm going to add the zest of this lemon, or most of it, until I get kind of tired of doing this. All right, good enough. And then the juice from it as well. <laughs> Did not want to get squirted in the eye with this lemon juice like I always do on video for some reason. Then one pitted medjool date. A clove of fresh garlic. I got this from the farmer's market as well. And wow, garlic is like this antibiotic, man. It's gross. It really destroys you. He's mixing. What a toxic soup he's making here. Beautiful. This stuff is potent. It's so good. And then yeah, just it's potent to kill you. Some water and blend. So I like to just add enough to just cover the cashews. And you know, when you blend this, that's when it make. That's when it really becomes toxic. And then you're like, oh, I'm gonna drink it down. All this stuff. Instead of just throwing back a few pieces here and there, he's gonna drink it down. It's really gonna destroy him. Hopefully, that's the perfect amount. <laughs> So it's probably go. gonna need a little bit of salt, but I'm just gonna pour it into this mason jar first, add a couple other things. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of dill and some thyme. The consistency. Dill and thyme, more of these toxic um, things to flavor it up because it tastes like shit. It is perfect. It's like so nice and thick and creamy. Mm. So a quick taste, see if it needs any salt. See, quick taste, let's see if it needs some salt. Why do you need the salt? Because it tastes like shit. It's pretty good as is, just a tiny little bit. It tastes poisonous, see? It tastes poisonous, so we used to mask it. <laughs> wow, it's so perfect. Holy, that's good. Mm. Sure. All right, so now it's just time to get the... See, the whole thing here is not about health, it's about taste. Mm -hmm. Tasty, tasty, yummy, 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 yummy. Rest of this stuff into those bowls and then finish the salad. Let's see how tasty we can make things and market it to the slaves so the slaves can eat it and destroy themselves. Oh, okay. And then you know what, I really want to use a couple of these carrots that I grew and I don't want to just like kind of mix it in with everything else. So what I'm going to do, oh my gosh, look at the color of this. That's crazy. Okay, I was going to just grate it, but you know what I think I'm going to do now is just like thinly slice it, put it on top. Oh my god, he's, you're gonna eat those, they're getting petals, oh, flowers, bro. All right, so there it is. It is one beautiful bowl, one of the most beautiful bowls I think I've ever made. The edible nasturtion on there is kind of a weird flex. I don't know how much I like that on there, but I just thought the, the plate needed like a little bit more color, so. All right, I'm gonna start with this fava bean tofu. Yeah, this tofu seasoning that we got from Germany is so good, but I'm out of it now, so I'm gonna have to come. You gotta get another one. I know. Google Translate the back of this and see what ingredients are actually in here. You know, that's why they invented the spice trade. You know, once they started feeding these people the slave diets, they were like, these diet, these, this food is really toxic. This, the, the spice trade took off because one thing meets the needs of something else. Get it? You understand me? It just keeps going. And then once it destroys your teeth, you need a dentist, your gums, and then it destroys your health. You need the doctor, a family doctor. And then you need, uh, you know, the hospital surgery. And then you need, you know, you need a pharmacy. You need pills and stuff. And one thing just, you know, keeps going on and on forever. 
You know, just on and on. They make products for you, everything. You stink, your underarms, you're wiping your ass with toilet paper all day because you're shitting like a cow, eating this, eating this like herbivore, like a cow's meal, like grazing on grass all day on this crap. It just, it's endless, bro. It's endless. Then you can't figure out why you're infertile. Your wife's infertile. Everybody's infertile. We're domesticated. We're getting shorter. Our brains are not working. You know, loss of energy and a whole bunch of stuff. Boom. <laughs> Just disintegrating, aging faster. You're, you're aging. You're deteriorating faster than you're aging. That Dr. Prager's burger is like so good in stir fries. If you've never tried using it like that before, definitely. This is gross, man. I, even I've never eaten like that. This is absolutely gross. Please try it. Man. He wants to convince you something unnatural tastes good. I'm gonna put some powder on it. You should try it with the powder on it, sure. Then I'm gonna get into this salad. Why don't, if it's so good, why don't you just eat it alone? Eat, eat them alone. Stop mixing and putting stuff on it. Oh, I can't wait. This is gonna be so good. This dressing is unbelievable. All right, and then what the heck? Yeah, the dressing is unbelievable, but the food in the bowl is fucking toxic. It tastes like shit. Put it on my plate. I better eat this nasturtium flour. All right, so I guess that's it. He ate that flour because uh, it tasted good because he put some sauce on it, bro. <laughs> I'm going to go sit down with Crystal and enjoy our beautiful bowls. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I This was hard to watch, man. This is this is crazy. Give you some ideas on different meals that you could cook. Right. And if you want to subscribe, feel free to do that. Like the Well, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know what else to say there, friends. That was just, that was disgusting, man. I feel sorry for these people. I have no clue. They have no clue what they're doing. They're they're so they've been so slaved. They've been so brainwashed. You know, whatever they've been told or whatever to do, it's just crazy the way the world works now. It's just I don't know. This poor slave man. He's done. He's really he's really done. I'll see you in the next one, man. Tell me what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. This was really hard to watch. I'll see you in the next one. See you later, friends.